Welcome, students. Today, you will begin writing your biography rough draft. For your biography rough draft, you will need your language notebook and a pencil, as well as your notes that you've been taking about uh, the subject or the person that you're researching for your biography. To write your biography rough draft, you will need to take the facts that you've collected so far in your graphic organizers, and you'll write those facts down into paragraph form. So let's just recall what paragraph form means. Over here on the left-hand side, there's usually a red line in your language notebook. Part of what we're practicing here is handwriting and organizing our work on a notepaper. So it's important that you are thoughtful about where you put your words. You want to start each paragraph on the left-hand side, and you want to line up with this red line. You'll begin each paragraph with an indent. Remember that indent <clears throat> looks uh, as a finger width that begins uh, each new paragraph. Then you'll put your writing here. When you reach the end of a page, don't try to squeeze it in down on, a, on the side of the page there. When you reach the edge of the page there, if you don't feel like you have enough room to finish the word, just start the word down here at that red margin. And start each new line at that red line on the left. Keep your lines lined up on the left side here. But again, remember, we have this indent at the beginning of each new paragraph. Remember that a paragraph is a collection of sentences about one topic. When you're done with the paragraph, leave a blank space. And when you're going to start writing about a new paragraph, remember there's that indent at the beginning. And then your new paragraph will go here. Your introduction will be its own paragraph. The roots section of your writing will have one or two paragraphs. Could have more, depending on how much you collected, how many facts you collected. The challenges and achievements will be its own paragraph. There may be uh, two or even three paragraphs there as well. And then your conclusion will be another paragraph on its own. Each paragraph should be a collection of ideas about one topic. should begin with an indent. Your lines should be lined up with that margin on the left side there. <clears throat> when you're done, make sure that you've checked for paragraphs. Make sure you've used your best handwriting. This is going to be a chance uh, to just review how your handwriting is coming along this year. Double check your spelling. If there are words you're not sure how to spell, look them up rather than guess. Double check punctuation. Capitalization at the beginning and periods at the end. Question marks and exclamation points where they're needed. And read through to make sure it makes sense. So for now, um, that is all that we're going to worry about uh, for your, <clears throat> we'll call that readability. There we go. So for now, this is what we're going to focus on for our rough draft. When we start polishing this later on, we'll take a closer look at a few of these. But for now, you have to make sure that you have uh, included these five things in your rough draft. And your rough draft will be, uh, will be ready to, uh, to take you on to your next steps and get you ready for a final project soon. So get working on this right away this week. Make sure to let us know if you have any questions, and good luck with your writing.